Hey everybody, so I'm over at my uh, buddy Gene's place today. He's got a bunch of uh, bunch of early gas lighting that he said I could uh, get very cheap. So I'm gonna go take a look to see what he has. How you doing, Gene? Huh? You can see how much different stuff he's got. All right. Look at shades. We're going to go look at the shades. Some of these are going to go. Mm-hmm. Some. But most of it's all the stuff we got from the New York deal, right? Yeah. There's some stuff that I had prior. Like in here. Some of this is New York. It. Where back? Oh, look, all over. All these shelves. Oh, yeah, you can tell with the little bit of oh, soot. Gene does have some uh, amazing things here. I love that lion head. Carved wood. But he's talking about selling me all of the. All of the gas shades for five bucks each. And it's definitely worth it. It's got to be 2000 uh, $2,000 or more of them here. I really honestly don't know how many there are. See, uh, everyone that's etched. He, he said he just sent the reproduction ones, like this one, to auction. So I think I'm kind of going to shake on the deal maybe before uh, before he gets his auction result. Because if they do do amazing, the price will just go up. I know I can sell those pretty good, the opalescent ones. He had just, these are cool for white metal. But he definitely has more uh, parts and pieces than anybody else I know. He definitely, oh man, I would call it the hoard of all hoards in uh, the amount of stuff he's got. That's a cool shade. You can see how many uh, different pieces of glass. And it kind of goes into that cabinet. And it goes all the way around through here. This is all of his stuff he's got taken apart basically right now. I always like going through these boxes of his because he tends to get lots of uh, antique keys and awesome uh, brass pieces that he sells fairly cheap. My friend uh, George at the flea market is buying a bunch of his... Uh, I'll be able to use some of this wire. Uh, he's buying a bunch of his silver plate. That's a cool piece with the lady and the guy carrying the, maybe it's Jack and Jill fetching the pail of water. Very cool. I like these. There's a ton of this uh, brass wire. They weigh about a pound and a half, two pounds each. This is steel. But there's a bunch of this brass. Those would wrap stuff or do repairs pretty well. I think the other shades were over here. So in the next uh, couple of months, his plan is to 
move everything that's here. I don't know how he's going to do it. If he, uh, I think he had an offer on his building. So figuring out how to get rid of everything is going to be his next uh, mission in life. So I kind of have to buy these and then have money for the next deal that he's got going on. If I'm, if I think this is the thing I can make my money on. I did do well with all the shades that I bought. I got mostly, uh, I got the leftovers of the stuff that he, uh, he bought. Lots of like, uh, Hall of Fame lights and stuff, but this is all the gas. So it's like got a four, four inch fitter. He's got a bunch of the nice flames. That's a flame gas. That's worth a lot of money. I love that. I kind of almost want to buy that. That might be the thing I get today. I'm trying to find something in the pile to uh, to bring home. This is a really cool silver plate box. These guys have a little bit of opalescence to them and those do sell well. He's got a bunch of them. See if there's, but you can see how far back it goes. The leather that I bought a long time ago is all the way in the back there. Um, one good thing I can say about his warehouse is it's uh, not like the roof is still good. So there's something cool. is all like oh man that snail is awesome like little embellishments for uh, clocks and boxes lots of trim little bird I totally look I don't know why I love these so much. The other thing, all these silver plate ones back then, I think they have a shot of being, some of them being silver. Oh, here's a little griffin. I have a collection of this stuff. Um, I thought it would make really great. Uh, there's a knight. There's a Roman soldier or something. That one I bet silver. It's really heavy. A Medusa head. That's killer. But, see, the reason I wouldn't sell these if, I, if they'll sell them to me is uh, this cast, like, you can recast that into jewelry. Like, uh, make a wax mold of that. So, not that I'm making jewelry right now, but I am collecting pieces to make jewelry at one time. That is amazing. I figure I got another good 15 years of uh, being able to run around and find all this cool stuff. And then as I start to slow down, it's, it's a good retirement plan making jewelry and stuff like that and it will keep me occupied that and I have no clue where you're gonna find anything else like this but imagine this like put into wax and then 
making an amazing sterling bracelet out of it. You can turn that into a really great deco pin. <coughs> the griffins are the things that are blowing me away. But Medusa is my favorite so far. Here's a really good bunch of owls in a line. And my guess is this is all 1890s, 1900, somewhere around there. This one's probably brass. See how it's kind of hollow? But that one that I, with the knight, it's got like a solid cast to it. Some oriental fans. Oh, the Pied Piper, that's pretty cool. Another griffin. This one's cool. Sorry, I don't mean to spend so much time in this box, but it is absolutely amazing. This one's silver too, nice and that's cool. Cherub looks badass. I'll have to show you the other box I have of this stuff. It's definitely just as cool. Actually, I would think it's almost cooler. I bought it off, I found it off of Gene 2 um, maybe like seven, eight months ago. No, that was a little longer than that. Probably two years ago, but I put it in, uh, put it in my lot. I'm gonna find him and see what he wants for that box. Uh, let's see. Hey Marco, you see Gene? No. no. Okay. No, not yet. How, uh, what are you working on? Anything good? No, no. Fixing stuff. One sec. Could you turn that light back on real fast? This is what I wanted to show you guys. So I just got a hold of them. He said uh, fifty dollars for that box of amazing uh, light pieces, but look at all these shades. I just can't believe how many there are, especially the gas ones. There's got to be anybody who knows old lighting. There's got to be how many shades would you say? Two thousand? Three thousand? Thousands of these glass shades. So. Yeah, I know. He, it's honestly amazing how many there are. So, I think I didn't think he still had all these. Uh, this is all clovers. All of them are acid etched. So, uh, I think I think I have. I think I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, so cool. And he's got a lot of this opalescence. And that that opalescent ones do do phenomenally well online all right I'm gonna go get my box and then I have to get out of here and go get the kids so that's the plan hopefully you thought this was a cool video I'm, I'm stoked I bought this for 50 There's probably 200 pieces in here Maybe a little bit more. I think next time I come, I have to look at his keys and stuff. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's up. Gene, th thank you for the box, by the way. I hope you have a good day. It's starting to rain. I'm. Uh, I'm definitely very, very happy about uh, all this stuff. By far one of the cooler things I bought recently. And it is about to rain. I'm gonna get my ass wet. So see everybody uh, next video. And I th hopefully we get to the flea market or an estate sale tomorrow. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. 
and let me know if you think I should get the lights or not, or the, the shades. They're all uh, for gas chandeliers. Thank you very, very much. Peace. Rain! So, I know it's raining, but they have some cool cool things. Well, the angel's missing the one wing, but the fire globe is awesome. And so are these two uh, strawberry candle holders. really like those. That's a cooler slash radio. All right, I think that's all we're going to get. Got to get out of the rain. Let's just see what these tiles are. That would be cool if they were something. Eh, nothing special. No figural. All right.